Testing a rough diamond at home can be exciting, especially when you suspect a stone might be valuable. One of the most famous and commonly discussed methods is the scratch test. This article explains how the scratch test works, how to perform it correctly, and why it should be used with caution. What is the scratch test? The scratch test is based on the principle of hardness. Diamonds are the hardest natural material on Earth, ranking 10 on the Mohs hardness scale. In theory, a real diamond should be able to scratch almost any other material, including glass and many stones. How to perform the scratch test on a rough diamond. Warning, this test can damage both real diamonds and other stones. Use it only as a preliminary test. Steps. 1. Clean the rough stone with water and a soft cloth. 2. Choose a hard surface such as glass, quartz, or ceramic tile. 3. Hold the stone firmly. 4. Try to scratch the surface using a sharp edge of the rough stone. 5. Observe the result carefully. Shh! Scratch test results. What do they mean? Leaves a visible scratch. The stone may be a diamond or another hard mineral. No scratch appears. The stone is likely not a diamond. Stone gets damaged or chipped, definitely not a diamond. Why the scratch test is not reliable. Many minerals can scratch glass, including quartz, topaz, moissanite, cubic zirconia. Also, real diamonds can chip or fracture during scratch testing, especially rough diamonds with internal flaws. Better alternatives to the scratch test. For more accurate results, try these safer tests. Fog test. Breathe on the stone. Diamonds disperse heat quickly. Water test. Diamonds sink immediately due to high density. Loop inspection. Look for sharp edges and natural inclusions. UV light test. Many diamonds fluoresce blue under UV light. Hash dash professional testing. The most reliable way to confirm a rough diamond is to use diamond tester, thermal or electrical, refractive index testing, laboratory analysis, GIA. Conclusion. The scratch test can give a quick clue, but it should never be the final method to identify a rough diamond. Because of the risk of damage and false results, it's best to combine multiple tests or consult a professional gemologist.